Bullying is not tolerated at this university. Now take a moment and imagine that you're a university student who's been bullied. How helpful is this sentence? It's not very helpful, is it? It's not helpful because it doesn't tell you where you can go for advice and support. And it's not helpful because it doesn't tell you what your options are or how to report the bullying. So really, how good is it? Is it good enough that you, a bullied student, feel supported and like things can change? Is it good enough that universities don't lose their reputation or their students? Unfortunately, for a lot of Australian university students, this sentence is all they get. And that's what my research aims to change. Now, I know the topic of bullying has been around for a while, so we all know all about it, right? For instance, you could all tell me what bullying is. What makes bullying bullying and not harassment or discrimination? Or maybe not. Maybe there's a little more to it than you thought. For example, did you know that universities aren't required by law to have an anti-bullying policy for their students? Even though schools and workplaces are. And did you know that bullying can do a lot of damage? Emotionally, physically, psychologically, financially, and not just to the victim, but to the bully, the bystander, and the institution itself. So how can I make a change? I can read a lot of policy. For my first study, I wanted to know what information and support universities were providing their students. What I found was that universities' information was hard to find, hard to understand, or they didn't provide any at all. So I did the same thing, but with universities in the UK to make a comparison. And they put Australian universities to shame in multiple areas. For my final study, I asked students what they knew about the university's policy, because what good is a policy if nobody knows it exists? I also asked them about their experiences with bullying. What I found was that students had no idea if a policy existed, where they would find one, or how to report bullying. I also found that bullying really does happen and that students need and expect more from their university. My research adds so much new information to this area, especially as the first of its kind in Australia. It also highlights to the universities themselves the extent of the problem, whilst providing them with guidelines on how to make these changes needed. Step one was identifying that bullying really does happen. Step two was to understand that bullying hurts and a lot of students are suffering. And step three? Step three is using my research to get universities to stand up and make a change because bullying is not tolerated at any university.